adventures. All right, guys, special treat. Really fun video. I got to compare the FN502 to the Glock 44. Big thanks to my buddy Orlando. Uh, he has He's Alaska on the fly, I believe, on Instagram. But I was able to borrow this FN502 from him. Um, I've been interested in this gun since it came out. Just the fact that it's a 22 long rifle pistol that's hammer fired, that's heavy, that's meant to train with. Obviously, it's modeled after the FN 509. And then, of course, the Glock 44 is modeled after the Glock 19, which is more kind of my thing, but we'll talk about that. But we're definitely going to compare the two of these um, so the FN 502 is single action only. The Glock 44 is a striker fired pistol similar to the Glock 19, only, you know, they tweaked it for rim fire. Um, the weight is a huge difference. So the FN, this is 23.7 ounces compared to the Glock, which is 14.64 ounces so considerably more weight and you really feel it it feels nice feels like a nine millimeter railer gun um it's got a five pound trigger and i i gotta tell you the trigger just feels it feels amazing compared to the glock I, I i'm not a fan of stock glock triggers and uh this trigger feels really nice um it's suppressor ready so this barrel is 4.6 inches and it's ready for a suppressor. Now they did release later on the suppressors for the Glock or the suppressor barrels. Uh, the barrel's still nice. It's it's not the 4.6. It's a 4.02 inch barrel, but it you know they call it a marksman barrel. It's a little heavy, heavier barrel for a 22. So it, I mean the barrel is nice, but um, you have to pay extra to get the suppressor ready barrels so longer barrel it's already suppressor ready um this retails for 519 this retails for considerably less you know i think it was i i forgot what it is 400 dollars or less definitely but red dot capable now he's got a sight mark on here which 22 <laughs> long rifle i'd probably get a sight mark too um you know it's a cheaper red dot but it is super cool. Um, this is the first rimfire pistol that has the uh, ability to put the a red dot traditional RMR style on the slide like that. No, nobody else. If if they would have come out with this for the Glock 44, I I would have been really impressed. Um, this just feels really beefy, and it. You know, Orlando was saying that it, it's so similar in weight to the 509 that it just feels really good. And that's why you train with it. So anyways, we're going to take them out to the range. I'm going to put a couple mags through this, a couple mags through this. And we're going to see who I think is the winner. I think it's pretty obvious who uh, is probably going to win. But let's let's try it out, guys. All right, see what happens. Okay, we're out at the range, and we're going to shoot these two 22s. Uh, Glock 44, two mags, FN 502, two mags. One of the mags holds 15. The other one only appears to hold 10. But I've shot the Glock 44 before, so i try this one first. This is kind of a long ways away, but we'll see how the shoot does. Oh, one malfunction. It's a uh, failure to eject properly. All right, next. I'm gonna shoot the other target with the FN. Wow, this feels nice. Feels like a much 
heavier duty gun. Interesting. Might as well turn the uh, old red dot on. There we go. Okay. Wow, 15 shots. A uh, little failure to feed there. Happens with 22. There we go. All right, well, I could just tell by the groupings, I had a much tighter group with the red dot. So absolutely the FN 509 wins. If I had one of these, I'd probably, I mean, the FN 502, I'd probably get a 509 just to be able to practice with this thing. But uh, the Glock 44 works for me because I have a Glock 19 that I train with. And so this fits all my lights and everything. I forgot to put the Surefire on here. But this thing is just amazing. Uh, by far, the trigger was better. It shot better. It was more accurate with that red dot. It's heftier, it felt better, felt like more like a simulating a nine millimeter just from the weight. This feels like a plastic squirt gun. Uh, so I gotta give it to the FN 502, amazing 22 pistol. Cool. Outdoor Adventures. Chook, is that you? No, fucking Chook. My name is Chook. Shoots out adventures. Why don't you go die every time?